Hey, this is Paul Payton with Focal Splash, and Todd Leach uh, let me use this image, it's a beautiful image by the way, to show how I would remove this uh, fence behind this fox, and so let's get started. <laughs> Let's get started. How are you going to get rid of that fence? Well, uh, some people might go ahead and get the spot healing brush first. We could take the time and go through here and just get rid of it, right? Expect the spot healing brush to find the fence and replace it with what's around it. It's kind of amazing, the spot healing tool, um, but I really don't think this is the way we should spend uh, a few hours <laughs> to try and, you know, get rid of this uh, fence. Well, I put a hole in it, he could jump through there and get away, but, alright, so we're not going to do that. So control, I'm going to hit uh, my history and go all the way back to open. First here, pexels, and type in feel. All right, now we're just gonna look for a field that would work. And I kinda like this, I think this will work. So I'm going to just download this and grab it and put it over into Photoshop, just like that. And then with the V key, I'm going to move it and drop it right there. A little bit of noise here. Uh, with the, actually I'm going to just leave it something like this, lowering the opacity, trying to match up what's there. Maybe we want something like that. Hmm, where do we want that horizon? I'm thinking we'll cut it like that. Looks good to me. Bring up the opacity, drop it down below. After unlocking this, drop it down below the fox. Alright, we'll put a a layer mask on the fox. Trust me, we can figure this out. Painting with a black brush at 100%. And I'm erasing the fence. Isn't that awesome? Just erasing that fence. Right? There you go. Fence is erased. Uh, I don't know if that's the really, the really the way we're going to do that. But there's another option. So, instead of quite like that, let's go ahead and and paint white on this by hitting control delete that paints with the background color and want to go into click right here and with the quick select tool let's make a better selection than we can really make with the brush because the most important part is foxy loxy here all right so we got that we got that, and then going to Select and Mask, zooming in. Still with the Quick Select tool inside Select and Mask, holding the Alt key, deselecting these areas that I know are definitely not going to leave as the Fox selection. And we're going to leave that. Mm, let's try and select a little bit. And with the Refine Edge tool, the R there. I'm going to try and deselect this. See what happens when we do that. I'm just playing here. Alright. So, definitely want to get the quick select tool again. Holding the Alt key down. And deselecting here. Something like that. Yep, deselecting this. Okay. The, when you record your screen, sometimes it it doesn't obey your key presses. So, now with the Refine Edge tool, let's see if we can give the fox back a little bit of hair here. You know, we can definitely refine this once we get this up on the other background. But, I'm going to get some of this fur there instead of just bumpy edges. Alright. Thinking something like that for now. And then we're going to put it on a new layer with a layer mask. All right, so the old layer is turned off and it's still there. And 
there you have it we're done okay we're not done all right so what I want to do now is clicking on this layer back here with the V key just you know position this and of course we're wanting to do a color match so let's just try this um, image adjustments color match and down just drop the fade down before we even start and this is uh, the image here and we're wanting to yeah, let's use that image All right so kind of uh, changes the colors a bit all right let's just save that okay so we just made a bit of a color change there so it blends in better and then we're definitely going to want to make a copy of that I probably should have done that already and then go into blur Gaussian blur no Gaussian blur you know whatever and the original image was blurred pretty much to kingdom come back there something like that all right now that's one way to do it so let's do it a different way I'm gonna do a blur uh, blur gallery and tilt shift blur gonna give it just a little more control over where this blur starts and ends and I'm thinking I want a bit of a more a bit more of a gradient so the blur should just start right past the edges of that grass no nope. that is too much still too far just bring this down like that okay I like that something like that and then is that enough blur mm, it's pretty blurry so let's grab it bump it up a little bit more a little bit more and hit OK alright so we're still not looking great so we're gonna put a curves adjustment layer on this and trying to match that original background I'm gonna bring this up a little more we're gonna go to blue and bring the blues down adding more yellow there then we're gonna go to green and take a little bit of the green out of there All right maybe not that much go to RGB and raise that again All right. interesting so the next thing is we're going to mess with this mask again so I'm going to hit control J and just keep the mask that we have and and put another mask work on this mask some and what I forgot to do to try and do was double clicking here and with the refine edge tool I want to see if we can't get a little bit more refinement here see something like that then hit OK and now we've got grass sticking up into the blur is that enough of it mm hmm let's double click on it again and it's with the front refine edge we'll just get try to give it a little more yeah I like that every image is so different you know the the pieces to the image and, um, you know who knows if there's gonna be pieces of grass sticking up here or there yeah alright so now we're gonna hit OK on that and now we've got some of the <laughs> some of the fence coming through so just paint black and get rid of the fence areas just delete them I'm just kinda looking for some grass there or something alright now I'll just make a brush a little smaller and yep that's not really gonna look good I just don't want the don't want it to look like grass uh, fence that's cute but 
Well, we still want some grass sticking up there. I like that. All right, now looking at the fox. They used to have a nice, beautifully uh, edged fox here, and now we don't. We have this scraggly little dude. All right, so we're going to fix this uh, mask and put a uh, paint with a brush and a paint with a white brush. Kind of go around these edges and stiffen them back up a little bit. Hitting X, painting with with uh, black painting with black here and painting with white Let's see if there's something there there is and black alright hmm Still painting with black there. Right here, we're definitely going to be painting with white and just capture that back in. Alright, now, is that where we want the horizon? I don't know. Let's try, let's try changing it a little bit um, with the V key. We put it up there. I think it looks better. And really, you had the horizon up like that, right above his ears. And so, Control T, Control Zero, and zoom it out, and so we can make this horizon just a little straighter down. All right, hit enter on that. You can see we're not using much of that image because it's not a full res image that we're working with either. So, and then uh, I'm gonna go and hit uh, Gaussian blur. Six, eight, eight looks good comparatively to the other image. All right, so what we have now is we have a little bit too much bright yellow in that grass back there it needs to dim it down so first of all I think if we add a curves adjustment layer here and just bring down the saturation of everything that matches better and I think that matches pretty good grab this tool here paint here and just bring down the saturation of the yellows yeah. And go to greens. Let's see if we just bump up the saturation of the greens just a little bit. It doesn't. There we go. Those are the greens. So that's not helping much, but I'll bump it up a little bit. <coughs> All right. So I'd refine it some more. But that's, uh, that's basically some of the techniques I would use um, to get rid of a fence in the back. It's going to be way too difficult to get rid of a fence. So uh, let me know what you think. Just a little at a time. A little at a time. Find me at Focal I've done Splash that with other YouTube fences and things, but not that and big of a problem. Uh, that's it. So, so um, let me watching. know if you have any questions about any of the techniques I used. I would, you know, I can see. I would refine that a little bit.